Ah, yes. Happy Halloween, Team Bean Cream, and happy Halloween, Cyrex. I know exactly what you're doing right now. You're upstairs clutching your blanket and pillow, scared of the butterflies outside, dancing around with the candy buckets, waiting to knock on your door for some Reese's Pieces. And you better deliver, because they did a lot to make those costumes as perfect as possible. Because we all know how much you love butterflies, don't you, boy? You know, you threatened Gordon, and that wasn't wise. But you never know who else is out there lurking in the shadows, Cyrex. You just never know. And one day, you may bring forth a real ghoul to your door. But Gordon is not the one you need to really worry about, Cyrex. I mean, he's not the one getting you banned. He is not the one with boots on the ground, if you know what I mean. Cyrex, you worry so much about the Council of Eight, this satanic cult that we're all a part of. Tonight in our shrouds, we will be making human sacrifices with a picture of you, Cyrex. Not honoring you, no, but cursing you for your behavior, your crimes, and your depravity that has been witnessed by us and by minors online. You will pay for your devious, deceptive, and depraved, despicable behavior, Cyrex. You will. Socially, you're going to lose everything, if you even have anything left to lose. You've already lost all your friends and... Rightfully so. And guess what? If it was just rumors, they wouldn't have left you. They left you because they found out it was true. Cyrex, I wish you a happy Halloween. And I am sorry you can't be outside with the rest of us enjoying it. But really, we don't want you around the children. This is the children's night and the parents' night with the children to go trick-or-treating. We need ghouls and goblins inside, okay? Uh, just stay inside, make another cry stream about how you're the best and, you know, MMM can't touch you and all this other crap that makes absolutely no sense whatsoever because it lives in the delusion you call your mind. Your ego, your ego needs checking. And I'm telling you something right now. I don't really know if I would have an ego after the episode that you pulled when the cops came, Mr. Viking blood. But as soon as those cops slapped those cuffs on you, that's called reality. And Sally couldn't save you that time, could she? So stop acting tough, Cyrex, or else we'll just keep replaying that video of you going, Ed, help! Ed, help me! Mom, save me! You're the king, Marty. You're the king. Let me up. I beg of you. Please! Very intimidating, Cyrex. But you were a born fighter, that's right. That was that was a tactic that you pulled. I understand that. Did you learn that from Bushido? Well, I'm sure you did. Yeah, well, keep it up, Cyrex. It's working well for you. It certainly built your reputation to what it is today. Ah, yes.